Guys, it's time to upgrade the Rhino mic. It's going to get a legit radio with some legit ESCs, a legit battery, and we're going to go have some legit fun. Take a look. Now, I got this from Walmart, and just to let you guys know, it does work. Rhino mic. So, full function radio control with all wheel 4x4 mega nitrous power. Rhino mic can raise up and drive <laughs> vertically on its back wheels, do spins and roll -ups. Okay, all that is going to go away. Every bit of it. The uh, sound box, all that. I'm going to take the tires off, which I've already got the screws out, and I'm going to seal them so they don't get water or anything in them. So, yeah, this is, this is going to be good. We are into this. I don't know exactly what to start taking apart, but... I'm just going to start removing some screws. So this right here comes out with one bolt and you got the pry on it. And there's your receiver. And pretty much everything. Huh. Interesting. Everything in here was plug and play on the board. And this was surprising. This thing charges off of a USB. 500 milliamp, 12.8 volts. I was thinking, okay, I'll put 3S on this thing and it'll get a nice boost. Well, I don't know about that now. But heck, that was actually surprising. That is pretty much the entire control board, everything. That's actually kind of neat. This is probably why it didn't work so well after I, could have, after I put it in the water. Hmm. Guys, I'm using a couple XL5 ESCs. I've got them both set up. I'm using the tank program on the hack fly sky. Watch this. I don't want to wrap a wire up yet. <laughs> Here we go. So, making progress. Now, the issue with these ESCs is I've got to push that little button on there. So, i got to secure these inside the belly and then put the battery in, turn everything on, and then close the battery up. And here we go. I've got radio on. I've got legit one-handed controls now. The tires are sealed. <laughs> uh, 3S, which really wasn't an upgrade. I thought it would be a little bit more power, but the stock battery was 12 volts, you know? So, anyway, we're going to go and give this thing a run. And... Oh, I worked on my jump. Oh, can't get my jump now. Too steep. Oh well. Now, part of the reason for this is I want that Sherpa from Russia. But, ah oh, man, it's like a $950, $1,000 for that thing. And I'm trying to get my Sherpa fixed with this. I doubt I'm going to get it, but been doing some work back here got some muddy water let's go ahead and get into this and see what we got <laughs> now the ESCs are tracks so they're waterproof it does have four motors in it so it's perfectly fine to see one motor not really wanting to drive or one wheel. All right, let's go float this thing. I got a little bit deeper water over here in another hole. Oh, I got a little bit of a glitch.
Um, I wonder if my receiver's too low. Receiver could be in the water. At least it's a cheap old flash guy receiver. Let's do it slowly. Think I can hit that bump, drop in, come up and get a backflip? Nope. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Come on. <laughs> okay. It's neat, but it's uh it's not a sure. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna have to buy it. What? I won't. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and message him. He's got an Instagram account and all that, so. Oh, that's over. One final water run because, well, I gotta clean up the tires. Ease in nice and gently. That is cool though. Oh, remember when I had the big foam tires on the uh, SMT? And then I kind of hit reverse and flipped it over in the pond. Oh yeah, that receiver's wet. Come on, come on, come on. Somehow it hasn't actually died though. So I uh, guess we'll call it there. Good run though. I guess it was a good run. Well, that was a better run. Uh, trying to get my fix on so I don't go spending about another thousand dollars for that uh, Sherp. I want that thing though. It looks awesome. Anyway, this is probably not going to fill that void in my life. As if I need another RC, right? But I kind of want that thing. And it may happen. It may happen. But anyway, guys, uh, the ESCs did good. The thing done good. It floated. I don't know what I can say other than maybe I'll link up the ESCs or I'll link up some parts and pieces for other trucks like crawlers and stuff down below. So check those out. Anyway, guys, uh, check that description. Use those links. I don't really know what to say. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.